You and 50 Cent. I just met up with 50 Cent over there. With, he got them damn liquor balls. Mm -hmm. uh, but you and 50 Cent, he calls you. I seen you on the live. Y'all do your thing. I loved it. Seeing the kid. I'm proud. You know, I'm like, my boy, you know what I'm saying? You know, I called you. I was like, yeah, yeah, nigga, you on there with 50, nigga. But that's a long time overdue, remember? He put mm -hmm. me on pop smoke. He put you that's right. And I ain't that's never right. talked to him ever. You Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh. Yeah, man, now let's talk. Let's get back to this comedy, man. How did you and Kevin Hart start linking up? How, how you know this nigga? Uh, I guess a uh, friend of mine that's cool with Kev and cool with Kev uh, manager. I was in Vegas at the time. I was like, hey, dub, uh, talk to Kev manager. He said, hey, I all love you. Kev love you. Pull up to the show. Uh, you know, backstage access, whatever. So, me and, you know, nappy nigga wire her. We pull up. I see a couple familiar faces. They all screaming my skits and this and that. Oh, man, finally get to meet you. Uh, Kev will be out in the minute. Kev came out in the minute. So it's laughing when he see me like, bro, like, you doing your thing. I'm proud of you, this and that. And I just basically told him, bro, you know, I'm, you know people say you can go. I want to see why. And like, I'm going to go watch you don't do stand-up. And he said, do that and critique me. Let me know what you think. So I went and watched him do his thing, bro. And he come off stage. I told him some things that I seen that he was doing. That helps him. He's like, oh yeah, you watching, you you see. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like what I learned about people. Like I'm the headliner, right? And I want other comedians who are following headlines to realize one thing: most of the time, the people are not there for you. Yeah, they're gonna fucking headliner. So if you hear them say, "Hey, hurry up and get off stage," don't let that bother you. Just do your stuff, man. Do your material, man. I seen. I ain't gonna say no name, but somebody at that show was messing with care people. Like, man, get off stage. We're here for Kevin. Damn. Yeah. Did they get off? You know, they, try, they tried to make a joke out of it, but nah. it's, it's it didn't tough. work. How, okay, you basically nah. went down there to Shreveport. You know, I don't know what y'all did to Hurricane Chris, but I did post on it. But you, we went. <laughs> we went <laughs> you were Fifty Cent. I just met up with Fifty Cent over there. With, he got them damn liquor balls. Mm -hmm. uh, but you and 50 Cent, he calls you. I seen you on the live. Y'all do your thing. I loved it seeing the kid. I'm proud. You know, I'm like, my boy, you know what I'm saying? You know, I called you. I was like, yeah, yeah, nigga, you on there with 50, nigga. But that's a long time overdue, remember? He put mm -hmm. me on pop smoke. He put you that's right. And I ain't that's never right. talked to him ever. You talked about it on the show, never, on this show. Never chopped it up with him. And that's good. So how was it, like, when y'all first start talking? Well, I'll tell you one thing, and people could learn this from me and anybody else. When he put me on that pop smoke album, I never bashed him. Never talk down, whole ass nigga. I ain't got my money. I ain't never do nothing there about him ever. Really? Yeah. Sometimes people put you to a test just to see how you gonna be That's and true. how you react through certain shit. And linking up with him, bro, has been one of the best things for me because not it was just linking up for a comedy show. Fifty really believe in me. Top of the year, we finna we finna put some shows together and some movies together. Like he really believe in my talent. Wow. So I'm finna start taking some acting classes now. So I don't want to take them when I get there. I That's want to be already in the in the groove of right. the shit and just be ready to take off. But fifty, uh, man, they check on me like every two weeks. Man, like we finna go to a football game. Here's some me fifty, just trying to bond and shit. That's man, dope. I take like it, that, take it to man. another level. But yeah. he was telling people down there about me, and they wasn't. You know, they got their own comedians who they think yeah, gonna rock the crazy, stage yeah. and this and that. Ah, oh, we gonna see. And when I went and ripped that motherfucker, 50, I see, I, I seen I went back it. I see you when y'all was talking. Was going crazy, like it was, mm -hmm. it was, it was a great fit. Like you got to think, Dave Chappelle, uh, Cat Wheel. I got to go in his room and, and chop it up with him. It's hard. Uh, Matt Strife, the white boy, yeah, cold. yeah, yeah. Ooh, cold. Uh, some heavy hitters on there. Did anybody give you any side eye because um, you were preferred by Fifty, so to say? I ain't gonna say nobody gave me that side eye, but I walked out of there with the most respect I ever had before I walked in there. That's good. Cause well, you when gotta, you hit that stage, you killed it, didn't you? I knew, you know, I love you, my I boy. I wore a suit. But I know when you hit I that. that. I wore a I suit. That. My nigga look like Martin Luther King in that motherfucker. I wore a suit, bro. That nigga look good, bro. I was like, like everybody else didn't wear a suit. Some say wear a suit. Like, you ain't supposed to be here. We'll make them remember you. Yep. So you know most comedians before you go on stage, sometimes they be relaxed, man. I'm going to go out here and do eight minutes and come on off stage. They trying to like, what you going to... I ain't saying nothing. Like, niggas try to get you out that mode, not to go hard mode. Nah, nigga, you finna get this. Ooh. And I just went out there and it just exploded, man. Just natural. Just, oh, I went man. so hard, the producers, like, they do the lights and shit, they come up shaking my hand, like, God damn. You no, know you nigga, get that we, Yeah, and just a great feeling, man, to be around my peers, people yeah. who done been before me, dug it before me, set the bar so high to go and be on the same stage as them. It's, it's just, 
great man. I love man. God though. Boy, it's, everything go to God, but I I wouldn't expect nothing else because you put that work in. Yeah, I man. watch them shows. You know what I'm saying? I I seen you. You know what I'm saying? Like all this time you've been working, and if you plant them seeds, man, God gonna for yeah. sure give you a harvest. Plant you know what I'm seeds. saying? Definitely gonna harvest. So you been man, pra- man you've been working. But the only thing is now it's not the only thing is now it's like when you when you meet someone organically and they see you at certain high places now. Oh man, they done sold his soul, man. They yeah, they, yeah, Illuminati. yeah. I'm yeah, gonna ask you that, yeah. like, uh, you know, that Illuminati thing is something that you got. Once you take so much, you know, <laughs> you, you got approached yet? It's a, yeah, you know, did you go did through you the door? Did you get approached yet? Did you hang out pro- that I party? I ain't got approached by did nobody, you? bro. <laughs> JB, I'm asking him. You know, I'm gonna be watching you because you my boy. If I see anything fishy, I'm coming to get you. You ain't got to worry about that. I ain't got approached by nobody, man. <laughs> I, I do think it's real. You do? But I haven't got approached by nobody, man. Wow. Would you, you accept it if you did? What you mean? Accept what? To be a part of the Illuminati. What's a part? What, what we is the Illuminati? We don't even know what that is. We don't even know. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know what it is. people be talking about you selling your soul and you're just in that. No, my soul whatever. belong to God. Come so on, if, man. If that's a part of it, then I, I they won't. They're going to have to have some I, God I, in I it. I won't be able to be a part of it. If it having to do with me sleeping with, uh, with the same sex as me, I won't be able to do it. Mm-hmm. Now, if he requires and you know, doing other things like going out, speaking to kids, uh, helping them, um, showing them my journey, and you know, I want to be able to go to the hospitals of people, children with cancers, and help them. That's real. The parents who driving back and forth don't have the money to do it. I want to better have my money go directly to those people because times is bad out here. Uh, but y'all gonna done went up from forty to seventy. And then, you know, people got to make gas going up. Mm-hmm. So you don't know if you want to get gas or some ass. It's a decision you got to make. And lately, I've been choosing ass. I just rather just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.